Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dead Recap, Episode 1, Season 6, Episode 9, No Way Out. And today, my co-host is Matt. Hello, everybody. Remember that wait you had from Season 4 to Season 5 with the whole Terminus? Well, this is what they did with that, but um, only a two-month wait. <laughs> well... Season 6 just started again, so, man, this was a great, great episode. Note to self, call Daryl when I want to get my problem solved, right? I just love how he just exits the back of the thing. He's just like, what assholes? And he, just <laughs> and he walks out with just scratch. I thought that was, impre- I, that was really I impressive. The, I think the reason why... This episode just hits so strong is kind of like with No Sanctuary is. Um, both of them beforehand started off from a cliffhanger that mm. really just grabs you to the point where you're like, I want to know what happens next. And that's right. Uh, no Sanctuary, the season four episode, well, A, had a very big cliffhanger with Rick saying they're screwing with the wrong people. But Rick... He just went back into his Savage Rick mode. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, before we get on ahead to the other parts of the episode, let's give them a quick recap of what happened. Okay, so basically, you find out what happens with Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham. Daryl blows up. Seems the, sad. Yeah. And then, if you read the comics, you know what happens to Jesse. So, Carl got his sh- eye shot out, and they fled the walkers away from Alexandria and killed them all, basically. The oh. framing from the comic to the, uh, s- the screen was pretty amazing. They got Major Dodson seen, uh, what, I forgot what the kid's name is, but... Um, um, Sam. Sam. He's Sam. They got his scene... Like, panel by panel from the comic. Yeah, um... But what made the scene with Jesse and Rick hit much harder is as Rick... You see that tears in his eyes forming as Jesse oh gets taken God. down. And you see those flashes go into his head of him and her smiling. Right? And they started to get redder and redder, those images. Right as he goes to take off the hand. Mm-hmm. And, and you... just... Sorry to interrupt Every you. Every scene of that was purposeful. Even the part where Jesse's hand falls off. That was that all... That just sets up the scene for Colin and, and um, Ron. And out of everyone in here, we all knew Ron was going to shoot Carl in the eye. I kind of yeah. saw that coming. But here's the big thing that I loved about this episode. They got it down from the comic right exactly how it was. Because... Well, Jesse, Douglas. they they did get it down right from the comic. Only thing that wasn't was Daryl. Daryl's not even a part of it in well, the comic. There is another deviation from the comic. Yeah, yeah. In the comic, Carl loses his eye to Douglas, who gets taken down by the Walkers. Okay. And here, they they give you a fake out where Michonne straight up takes out Ron. Oh my god! And, and you feel like holy shit, that bullet didn't do anything. And then you look. Carl, and he says the dad part, and you just feel your heart just break into pieces all over the place. He's not going to lose his memory, though, like in the comics, right? He might. Oh, great. I mean, even, this is one of those series where even if you know it's coming, like people felt with uh, Herschel, they knew his death was coming. It still takes a sledgehammer to your heart, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Every death in this um, went to the heart, like... The biggest one was Tyrese, in my opinion, because he, uh, this is a, from season five. His death was so... What's happening? It's going on. Yeah. So, yeah, back to season, uh... Season five. No, not season five. five. We're on season six now. But back to what we were saying about season six, this Let's season... Oh, Gabriel and Eugene. Yeah. Yeah, they finally they grew got, some balls. They even got Eugene's um uh, thing from the comic where he's like, 
you know, if they're going to remember this, I'm going to be part of it. Yeah, then uh, Father Gabriel, he grew a pair of balls finally. His speech. Remember that speech? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's, he went up to everybody and said, and I'm just paraphrasing here. He said, I, we were praying for um, God to save this place. But God gave us the strength to save Alexandria. Alright, and also, um, Glenn and Ida came back. Enid. I, I can't pronounce her name right. I, I don't like her name. They should have changed it. Was she in the comics? No, she wasn't, but so far, she, as, um, you know, Glenn and her are developing oh, their like, characters. Yeah. She's basically the Sophia of the show. But the one thing that, uh... Holy fuck, that's gonna hurt so hard. I know. I'm not gonna say it. Go ahead. I'm not spoiling anything to anybody who hasn't read the comics, so... But, as I was saying, did you think Glenn was going to die right there? Did you think? I, for a second there, yes. But this dude has been so lucky. He is the luckiest character on The Walking Dead. Yeah, didn't they say that on The Talking Dead as well? Yes, and I, I felt that. Like, remember in Conquer, which was... Uh, season 5, episode 16. The revolving door, where, right? The revolving... No, no, no. Oh. I mean where where Nicholas winged um, uh, Glenn, and he just fell down, and, and Nicholas oh, that's was right. almost winning that... the fight, and then the walkers got into Glenn. Wasn't that the thought, final oh, episode? Fuck, dead. Wasn't that the final episode? Oh, yeah. Season 5? Okay. And then he made it through that, and then thank you happened, and he made it through that too, and I'm like... Dear God, when when my birthday happens and the season finale happens, whether wh whether it follows the comic or whether it doesn't, dear God, if they do, that is gonna break some hearts to to pieces. All right, but because uh, that's like we just destroyed the biggest, <laughs> the character with the best luck in the show. Yeah, but overall, this episode was amazing. I loved it. So. Tell me about Denise and the wolf. Oh, Denise was in the episode at least? Yes, what? remember um, in start to finish at the end of the episode where the wolf takes Denise and takes oh, her out to the street. They, had a, they started getting to know each other a little bit, but uh, man, Carol's a cold-hearted bitch now. <laughs> Holy she shit. She didn't even know that, he, that, that the wolf was trying to save Denise. Yeah. I, I at that moment I was like, holy fuck, he's actually he's changed. Gonna, he's gonna do something, but Carol ruined it. But overall, the episode was great. I think, even though Carol shot him, that was still a great moment because even in his dying breath, he could have just reverted and um, done something terrible to Denise. But instead, he still helped her. Yeah, but overall, the episode it changed. Go ahead. Okay. Overall, the episode was great. And we can't wait for the next one. And finally, we get an episode with Daryl and Rick working together just by themselves. And a little bit of a tiny spoiler. I think Jesus is going to happen in that episode. Yeah, but this is all the time we have. I'm Leon. And I'm Matthew, his co-host. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, you deadheads. <laughs>